and welcome to Polymer Update. This is Simran Chaudhary and you're watching Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with the free petrochemicals news show. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Dixon Technologies India Limited. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude futures slipped on Friday due to demand fears amid a standoff in the China-US trade talks. Prices fell on the back of fluctuating U.S. equity markets and due to fears about a likely fall in Chinese energy demand on account of an escalation in the trade war between the U.S. and China. Brent futures dropped by 41 cents or 0.56 per cent, settling at $72.21 per barrel, while WTI futures declined by 11 cents or 0.17 per cent, settling at $62.76 per barrel on Friday. Open spec NAFTA prices climbed last Friday, rising by 4 US dollars per metric ton to the 580 US dollars per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Ethylene prices gained in Northeast Asia last week. The price rise was attributed to higher upstream costs and constrained product availability in the region. Propylene prices slipped in Asia last week. The price fall was a result of bearish buying sentiments in key markets like China and weaker downstream PP demand and pricing trends. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalin Commodity Exchange for today on May 20th, 2019. LLDPE prices are higher by 15 RMB per metric ton at 7,860 RMB per metric ton. PP prices are up by 3 RMB per metric ton at 8,307 RMB per metric ton. PVC prices are stable at 6,875 RMB per metric ton. In plan news, Zhenjiang Chimei Chemical has shut its number 2 to number 6 ABS plant for a maintenance turnaround on May 16, 2019. The plants are slated to remain offline for around 10 days. Located in Jiangsu, China, the five units have a combined production capacity of 420,000 metric ton per year. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Dixon Technologies India Limited, the largest homegrown design focused and solutions company engaged in manufacturing products in the consumer durables, lighting, and mobile phones markets in India. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. It is Monday, May 20th. I'm Simon Chaudhary. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Polymer Update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Polymer Update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.